make lousy parachutes. Alright, welcome to the Lone Wolf Garage Moto Vlog. As always, I am your host, Lone Wolfer, and I am uh, about to commute home from work on my girl Bonnie, aka Bella Dinah. And uh, yeah, I am going to cross my fingers that the bike starts with no problem because this battery has been um, giving me quite uh, a few complaints. Uh, wish me luck. Oh, okay, all right. No, no red light and no, uh, no battery light. Thank God. Wow. So much rattling. So much rattling. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh, it's so warm. And look at this. My, my thermometer sitting here on my, my handlebars saying 70 degrees. That might be pushing it. It might be closer to 60. It, it's been sitting in the sun. But yeah, let's, uh, let's start making our way home. All right, all right, all right. Cruising home, listening to some tunes. Uh, nice breeze. Uh, feels good. This is the inaugural ride. The inaugural ride with my brand new GoPro Hero 9. Uh, I have all of this uh, set up in my new Ulanzi G94 uh, plastic case. Um, there is an aluminum case, which is about uh, double the price. Uh, I believe this is this case is now available on Amazon for like 25 bucks, but I got it for like 15 on eBay. Uh, it took like a month to get here, but uh, whatever. I wasn't in a rush. I wasn't really riding much. Uh, it was too cold. It sucked. Um, but yeah, uh, the GoPro Hero 9 uh, has been performing pretty well. Uh, I am a huge fan of the forward-facing uh, uh, vlog screen, so you can, uh, you know, set up your shots much easier uh, and monitor where you are framed up in the shot. Uh, I did use this for the Dynabuild series episode eight. It performed quite well. Uh, I think I got uh, my lighting down in my, my little old garage and I think it came out pretty good. And the audio uh, came out great. Uh, the, the new Ulanzi G9 4K actually has a little opening for the microphone uh, that is on the camera and I decided to actually shoot uh, the whole thing using the onboard microphones rather than an external microphone and it worked out uh, really good uh, and I hope that this is recording the audio properly uh, I have had some some testing issues uh, with the GoPro Hero 9 and the 3.5 millimeter mic adapter uh, for some reason it's not recognizing it uh, when I turn the camera on I have to literally unplug it and then plug it back in for the camera to recognize it, which is not, uh, it's not conducive to my way of life and what I want. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is having the same problem. I did post this on um, motovlog.com, uh, the issue of my mic adapter not recognizing on the first turn on of my GoPro. Um, if, you, if you're having that issue or know of what the hell is going on, I did just do the newest firmware update um, not the one that actually enabled the use of the 3.5 millimeter mic adapter, but uh, the one right after that. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe GoPro screwed some line of code up. Um, that would not be, uh, you know, out of the realm of possibilities. But yeah, um, the Ulanzi G9 4 case uh, sits pretty similar to uh, the Hero 5 Ulanzi case that I had. So I am happy about that. Uh, what I am a little annoyed at is that uh, GoPro switched the sides of the USB-C port um, somewhere in there. I don't know if it was six, seven, eight, or at the nine, but it is on the opposite side now. Uh, so I actually had to change around my microphone setup because uh, having two dead cats on one side was just uh, filling my mouth with synthetic fur and I was not very happy with that. It was extremely annoying and uh, tickled my nose. It tickled my nose too much. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. it tickled my nose. So that was that's one annoying bit. Um, the bottom part where the mic adapter actually sits is uh, not 
uh, the full length across on this one as it was with the Hero 5 Umanzi case, which is uh, okay, I guess. I don't, I don't know if it really changed anything. It's a little different. Um, the doors, uh, the side door for the battery um, and the back door are now with little latches. Uh, these little latches, these buttons that you have to depress. Um, I'm not sure if those are gonna last forever. Uh, they are plastic and uh, yeah, that shit degrades. And also I have Hulk hands. So um, I'm a little concerned about that. Just a little bit concerned. The Hero 5 uh, Ulanzi case has lasted uh, three years now. I think about three years I've had that sucker. And uh, yeah, it's got one little like snap, like depressed snap that you have to press to get the door to slide off. And I have not seen any fatigue or wear on that snap. So who knows? We'll see. I don't know. It might all work out just fine. I really hope it does. I really hope it just works out fine. And it never, never degrades, never breaks down. But whatever. It was 15 bucks for me. Uh, it might not be available for that price anymore. I will put the link that I used on eBay for that item. Um, like I said, uh, for more immediate uh, deliveries, Amazon does have it now, and it is in the mid-20s. I think it's a useful thing to have if you are moto-vlogging and you are using the on-board method of recording your audio. Um, I used to record separately still sometimes actually do have a secondary one which I use a uh, lavalier mic and an iPhone with an app called uh, voice voice record or something like that but I've been moving away from that as my confidence in the GoPro recording the audio has been higher uh, it's not full on uh, I'm not fully confident in it it's still got its bugs but I like having the self-contained Ulanzi unit. I just, I can pop it right off the, you know, helmet whenever I want. I don't uh, have to leave it on there. Um, I don't have to add extra stuff. I don't have to have Velcro to put the 3.5 millimeter adapter on there. I could just, you know, slap it on the J-hook and go, go for a ride, make vlog and ride through beautiful Brantford, Connecticut. Uh, the town that I currently call home and it's just it's it's got some nice views look at this look at the water that's just a little lake it's just a pretty little lake and there's a bunch of people out riding motorcycles and they're being fucking awesome and all waving uh, that'll get old real fast once there's more bikes out on the road but for now it makes me happy to wave it it, it fills me with a sense of hope uh, that's yeah it's way better than the sense of dread I've had for the past year. Well, my dread is a little less uh, now. After having COVID and surviving it, I, I definitely do have less dread. And I know that I am uh, at least partially filled with antibodies and can help fight it off. Uh, I will still wear a mask though uh, because I can still spread it. Who'd have thought that you could still get sort of sick after having the sickness? That's unheard of. Oh my God. No, no one's ever gotten two colds. No one's ever gotten the flu twice. No one's ever had a stomach bug twice. Oh my God. But yeah, uh, COVID, no joke. It sucked. Wear a mask. You don't want it. You don't want other people to catch it in case you happen to be asymptomatic. And uh, yeah. Uh, GoPro Hero 9, uh, I think it's doing pretty good. I am uh, very interested in, in seeing what the horizon leveling uh, is like. And uh, this Ulanzi G9 of 4 case uh, does make it just so much easier to pack everything into that little housing for the camera, the mic adapter, and the mic hanging off of it, propped up underneath the chin guard on my, my helmet. And I can just uh, just stop somewhere, take it off, and then just keep riding and, you know, let the ride be just for me. I'm a fan of Ulanzi. I got a couple of their products now, including the frame for the Hero 5, which served me quite well. And now we'll be serving my wife, Claire, as uh, she is going to start doing some dual vlogs and possibly some of her own vlogs. Uh, we have not made any decisions on that, but uh, yeah. 
there's gonna be uh there's gonna there's gonna be some some more some more stuff from from another bike's perspective another rider's perspective a female's perspective on this here lone wolf or garage all right if you like that one give it a big old thumbs up if you don't keep on trucking uh if you have any comments i uh, would love to hear them down below either on the gopro hero 9 any issues that you've had with it audio wise uh, the Ulanzi case, maybe you've gotten one too, or maybe you've gotten the aluminum version, which is a bit too pricey for me and too heavy. Uh, I, just, I don't need anything that crazy. And uh, yeah, uh, rock on. Look at that view. Thimble Islands. What the fuck? What are you guys doing? You gotta pull further down.